Welcome to Marine World Weekend. Watch for fresh perspectives. Marine World is moving faster and higher, moving deeper for core issues. I'm Lynn Bakani. Our top stories. Lawmaker refiles bill to transfer PPA's regulatory functions to Marina. Maritime Contingent Marches at Singapore National Day Police Identify Man Missing from MS Coningsdam Cruise Ship Runs Aground in Norway Bagong Generation Party List Representative Bernadette Herrera D. has filed a bill transferring the regulatory functions of the Philippine Ports Authority or PPA to the Maritime Industry Authority or Marina. House Bill No. 1400 seeks to separate the regulatory and commercial functions of the PPA by converting it into Philippine Ports Corporation or Philports for development, management, and operation of public ports within its system. Former Bohol Representative Arthur Yap introduced a similar bill in the previous 17th Congress. Herrera D. explained over the years, Port users, such as domestic shippers, exporters, and importers, have complained of low service levels, inefficient port operations, and ever-increasing port charges. They claim that the high cost of transport serves as an effective barrier to increase trade, both local and foreign, and undermines the country's overall competitiveness. According to the proposed law, fill ports must always prioritize public service delivery, and the promotion of public interest over commercial or financial profit. Field ports shall be governed by a board with 15 members composed of representatives from government agencies and industry associations. ATM from Maritime Singapore was among the 2,000 participants from 37 virtual and physical marching contingents who marched for Singapore's 57th National Day Parade, or NDP. Held annually on August 9, the parade is the main public celebration to commemorate Singapore's independence. Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore, or MPA, Chief Executive Kua Lei Hun said, The contingent represents the unity, resilience, courage, resolve, and friendship of the maritime community in Singapore. The members from ports, shipping industry, unions, MPA affiliates, and MPA team represent Maritime SG, which include maritime organizations from PSA Singapore, PSA Marine People and Culture, Jurong Port, Singapore Maritime Officers Union, Singapore Organization of Seamen, Singapore Maritime Foundation, Singapore Maritime Institute, and Association of Singapore Marine Industries. This year, Singapore is also celebrating 50 years of container shipping. It started its journey as a transshipment hub with arrival of 300 containers. Today, it is the world's busiest transshipment port. Last year, Singapore handled the highest container volume of 37.5 million TEUs. Looking for a job within the TSM Group? Wait no more. Let innovation work for you. Take your job search to the next level and do it anytime, anywhere. Introducing TSM Recruit, an app-based recruitment tool for a more convenient job search and application. The first of its kind in the Philippine maritime industry. Want to know more? Download the TSM Recruit app now on Google Play or the App Store. The Juno Police Department in Alaska has identified the person who went overboard from the cruise ship Conistam on August 8, Monday. 
He was Lorenzo Anthony Holmes Jr., a 31-year-old Tennessee resident. Mr. Holmes was an entertainer on the cruise ship and had been working there since May of this year. His next of kin has been notified. At the time of the incident, the cruise ship was located in the Gastineau Channel across from the 430 block of Egan Drive. The U.S. Coast Guard conducted search and rescue operations, but the person was not located. Initial reports from cruise ship passengers reported hearing screams from a person in the Gastineau Channel. CCTV from the cruise ship confirmed a person climbed over the ship's railing and never returned. Passengers from a nearby cruise ship reported seeing something fall from the cruise ship Conisdam and then calling out for help. Police said the case is still under investigation. Martin Grutten's MS Richard Vid ran aground in Western Norway on August 5. The cruise ship was on its way to Bergen after a longer stay at the shipyard when the incident occurred. There was a crew of 53 on board in addition to 14 service personnel who had done follow-up work after the shipyard stay. There were no injuries or danger to life and health for the 67 people on board. Jerry Larson Fede, head of marine operations, Hurt and Gruten, Norway, said MS Richard Wyth has been safely released. It broke loose with the high tide and will sail to the shipyard for repairs to its own engine with assistance from auxiliary vessels. Hurt and Gruten, Norway aims for the ship to be back in operation with the next departure from Bergen on August 20. The company will investigate the incident and the causal relationship carefully in the future. Thank you for watching Marine World Online. Stay on board. Subscribe to Marine World Online for more meaningful maritime news and views. I'm Lynn Bakani. God bless Maritime Philippines.